All right, so I needed a little bit of a break from Doom because sometimes you just get a bit worn out. So I decided to do this video. She probably isn't going to do as well because it isn't a 90s shooter, but either way. Decided to do this video because from this stupid conversation I had seven years ago with someone, as I'd introduced him to Terraria, and at the time it was the 1.2 mobile version, so not the PC, but it was good enough for me. I was told him about the games of the Icequake and fight all these bosses, all that sort of stuff, you know, just pitching the game, and he decided to get it. A couple of weeks after that, he came back and like with his phone saying, like, oh, I've beaten the game, here's my character. And he showed me a character with frost armor. And I just looked him dead in the eyes and said, you didn't beat the game with frost armor. He's like, no, I just thought it was the highest tier of armor and I didn't replace it until after, you know, finishing Golem and that sort of stuff because at the time Golem was the end. And that just stuck with me for seven years. So I just decided, why don't I give it a crack? But, you know, with worse gear, just to see how far in the game I could get with pre-hard mode gear. Let's give it a crack. The main rules for this challenge is all equipment, potions, tools, armor, accessories, I can only use if they're available in normal progression in pre-hard mode. I'm saying that particularly so no one does so no one says like what about the campfire glitch and that sort of stuff. I know I could do that with bloody essay videos teaching me how to do it, but that's against the spirit of this, alright? So also since this was done on Team Model Loader, I had some quality of life mods like shorter respawns. Uh, Alchemist NPC, that sort of stuff. The the list of them is going to be either in the description or over my face right now. I don't know. I did this just to help speed up the time of progression. As the main challenge should be defeating the bosses and trying to survive in the world. Not spending four hours collecting fallen stars to go for one boss attempt. That's not where the challenge is for me, alright? So, just plainly stating it. But don't worry, there's going to be a bit of a comeuppance in the video, so don't worry, I didn't get away with this scot-free. So, I haven't played Classic Mode in eight years, so... This was a lot easier than what I expected it would be, as... Everything just seemed a lot weaker, obviously, because... I'm used to Expert and above. So, all the bosses went down as expected because I was using gear appropriate stuff for them but I decided to skip deer clops because I couldn't be asked to get some flinks fur and then basically just went around making the world good for a hard mode I flattened a vaguely big enough area around my starting town just so I'd have a open arena I got all the best accessories I could got all the best armor I could which was the first time I've ever made necro armor got all the best weapons for their classes, made a Plantera arena with a bunch of city busters from Fargo Sunblood, which is pretty hard in my gear, so I thought, why not? Bought a bunch of stars from the Alchemist NPC, and then just hoped everything would go well. I just tried to make sure everything was built now, just so I wouldn't have to worry about checking wikis of, is this armor acceptable? No, no, uh -uh. it's like, is this item around at this point in the game, or am I thinking of something else? Just to get everything done, have it all ready, and then just crack on with the game. This is how it went. So at the start of hard mode, I just went down to find my hallowed biome to get a bunch of uh, the um, queen slime spawning things. They were appearing quicker than I expected, and began to fight. I, for some reason, underestimated hard mode bosses with pre-hard mode gear, because I'm a thick idiot. So I basically got tramps on my first fight, and had to spend a bunch of time flattening out an area and trying the boss again. This is where my comeuppance happens. During this day of recording, Ah, uh, in between video files so I didn't lose any footage. 
I um, had some scheduled power working stuff and I was expecting the maintenance guy to just show up and say, I'm here, show me where the things are. He showed up unannounced and just started bugging around the power box causing the power to be turned off. I saw the power went off and like, oh, must be here, went out to help him for an hour or two. After that, came back in, went to get back into making this video, and both the character and world files were corrupted and the backups weren't working. So after screaming for about an hour, hyperbole, I decided to just copy the seed which I'd saved, placing it in a new world and then just cheating my way back to where I was. Which is why in between clips, all the houses look infinitely worse. I just wanted to get back to where I was. For some reason after this, my bullets and stars were infinite. I tried dropping and picking them up and all that sort of stuff. No, they just were an infinite stack for some bloody reason. It's probably because I got out of a cheat menu or something, but I didn't want to feck around with it, so I just went, screw it, why not? So after all of that pain, I got back to where I was, killed the queen slime, and continued with the challenge. So from spending a bit of time on the wiki, I uh, found out that the mech items only drop from enemies and have a chance of spawning at night after one demon altar has been broken. So I decided to bend the rules a bit and just break one and then just trash the paladin's hammer. Is that it? No, that's the other thing from back there. Anyway, it technically it wouldn't violate it because I didn't use any of the drops it gave me. I just let it so I could just naturally get bosses, which after two hours of just off camera killing anything, finally got all three. Took much longer than I remember it taking, but got all three. Decided to try the destroyer first just to see what it was like with the star cannon and killed it before nine o'clock at that night. So I thought, why not give Skeletron, Skeletron Prime a crack? Managed to kill him before one in the morning. So I thought, eh, yeah, let's push it. Let's see if the twins are be done as well. And I got rid of the twins as well. I expected the bosses to have a bit more resilience to the star cannon. I didn't expect them to just all be able to be defeated in one night, which shows how powerful the star cannon is. So, after that gobsmacker just started make waited in the bed for a couple of days in game time and just got a bunch of Plantera things to spawn and then made my way to the jungle. So when I started making this video, I thought Plantera would probably be the end of the challenge because I didn't think I'd be able to, you know, defeat her with this backwards of equipment. Plantera took one attempt, which was a lot better than I expected. From that, I went down to the jungle temple, which is where I really hated this challenge. So I could have used the platform glitch to get through the door. Didn't want to because that would just be a waste of time. So I opened the door, went into the jungle temple. The problem is the bloody lizards. When they're upright, you can kill them easily enough. Problem is, when they go on all fours, they're faster than you and you can't really deal enough damage to get rid of them before they catch up to you. So that wasn't a great start to the thing and after an hour trying to get to the spawning area, I couldn't. So I thought, ah, oh, the mechanic sells teleporters in pretty hard mode, I'll try those. They've changed how the temple works, as usually you'd, you know, bring a wire cutters and disable all the traps. They don't let you do that anymore, nor even place wire. So I couldn't have a teleporter at the start, try to get to the temple and just do a teleport straight down. That didn't work. So I had to tunnel my, tunnel my way in by placing dirt right above my head throughout the entire path. So if something was there, I could quickly place a block and deal with it that way. That took two hours to do. Luckily I had a podcast to listen to of this guy talking about Bigfoot and Native American culture. So that wasn't as painful as I thought it would be. So the golem fight 
took two attempts or something like that. Didn't expect the head to be as powerful as it was, but, you know, it's golem, so it wasn't that hard of a fight. It was just the temple itself was the main pain for this challenge. So I decided to skip the Empress of Light and Duke Fishron, mainly because I didn't think the Star Cannon would be fast enough to really keep up with them and deal enough damage to not have the fight take four years. Also, Empress of Light would just insta kill me once it came to daytime. And secondly, since I've only got uh, the Terra Spark boots for mobility and the Horseshoe Balloons, whatever it's called, I don't have enough mobility to deal with them. So I just decided, instead of wasting hours trying them, I would just skip them and just go straight to the cultists. Which, after figuring out the attacks, was again, a lot easier than I thought it would be. As, at this point, I was just maining the star cannon and just ab abandoned the zappinator and I was just surprised how well it was doing in classic mode. I genuinely thought I wouldn't be getting this far and just waiting for the game to hit me over the head with a piece of wood. The game then hit me over the head with a piece of wood. So the pillars were a fucking nightmare. I spent an hour or two on each pillar and was the closest where I was completely giving up with this challenge bar from when everything got corrupted. So my main method to deal with it was go right to the border edge of the temple, not temple, pillar, just basically stick my foot in, have three or four things spawn, step back, kill them and just rinse and repeat. Since it's a hundred enemies it wasn't that bad but Ooh, the solar pillar tested my patience because of that fucking flying thing and the things that spin around and deflect your attacks. So that was a massive pain in the ass, but I managed to get through it. What I didn't manage to get through was the Moon Lord, so got all the way up to the end and was killed there. Great anticlimax for this video, but in my defense, I really tried. <laughs> I tried running just on the platforms I had, didn't work because I wasn't able to dodge attacks that well and wasn't able to out DPS it with the star cannon. I was able to get some of the healing orbs, but not reliably enough to be able to progress the fight. Also the big eye laser killed me every single time because I just couldn't outmaneuver it. Then I thought, why don't I try minecarts? It was fast enough, but the beam laser from the eye was still killing me. And forgot which update it was, but the M Moon Lord laser now pierces blocks, so I can't do the old stick and blocks over your head trick. So, I was going to try teleporters, but that just wasn't really going to work out that great because, again, I can't dodge the eye laser. And without not being able to out DPS it, I just realized this is the end of the video. <laughs> So for a conclusion, I don't know what you want me to say. If you want to try it yourself and show that I'm an idiot, sure. Um, going to be doing Sigil 2 next video, finally got that downloaded. And after that, got a video that I've been wanting to make for a while, so stay tuned for that I hope. 